Welcome back to another edition of TCM Graduate TV. I'm Kenton Sefcik, registered acupuncturist. This is episode 84, and today we're talking about UB43, the outer back shoe of the pericardium. Just want to get into a little bit of theory to explain the name behind Gaohong Shu. So first, as I said, it's the back shoe outer point for pericardium. So if you can remember that UB14 plus 29 gets us UB43, which I talked about on the last episode. So this Chinese name is Gao Hong Shu. And Gao Hong can get translated to roughly fat membrane tissue. And this area is thought to be between the heart and the diaphragm. Now, this is important because when you understand where this area is and the name behind it, when I tell you that it was regarded as an area where disease could reside and get trapped in, so very similar to maybe using internal external dragons, seven needles to awaken the seven dragons to chase out the demons. Here we have an area in the body where disease can get trapped and can be very, very hard to treat. Now, historically, moxa is burned on this acupuncture point, but of course we can needle it. We have to be very careful with this acupuncture point in particular to not cause pneumothorax. We need to get the angle and the depth correctly. I'm gonna race this, and we're gonna talk about what this amazing acupuncture point can do. And we're back. So of course we can use this acupuncture point for upper back pain, scapular pain. But what it's most well known for is its ability to tonify the body. To tonify original chi. To nourish the lungs. To calm the shin and nourish the heart, especially in cases where there might even be uh, phlegm affecting the heart. Tonify spleen and stomach, very good for digestive concerns, undigested food. And it even tonifies kidney. Because of its location close to the lung, it helps with phlegm, phlegm in the lungs, and just general phlegm in the body. So many practitioners say that if a patient's not responding to treatment, if their disease is not responding to treatment, this is a really great acupuncture point to needle. Again, we're going to be very careful with our needle depth and angle, and even burning lots of moxicones on it, anywhere from 100 moxicones to 300 moxicones to really tonify patient's original chi. Some people like to combine this acupuncture point with UB52, which of course tonifies the essence, other acupuncture points, REN4, REN6, those sorts of things. So there you have it. This is a very interesting, very powerful acupuncture point. If you have a patient in clinic that, you know, maybe you have a leathery pulse, maybe you feel they're extremely deficient in all the departments, lung, heart, spleen, stomach, kidney, you can definitely use this acupuncture point to bolster their constitution. Just want to remind you that safety is king, bedside matters king, and results are king in that order. Thanks for watching this video.